fuck. I just got back from the gym. Uh, that was a terrible idea. You're probably wondering why I would put myself through some torture like that, and it's just because the kid, uh, my friend Dylan that I go to the gym with now, he has work at 8 a.m., so I woke up at 5.30, and I was like, yeah, we'll go at 6 a.m. before you go to work. You know, in hindsight, shouldn't have said that. The only good thing about going to the gym at 5.30 in the morning is you can tell people that you did that, and they think that you're, like, very dedicated and motivated and shit. So that feels good. I like putting other people down, like, oh, what'd you do today? You had work? Yeah, I was in the gym at 5.30 a.m. Getting after it, okay? Rise and grinding. That's the best part about going at 5.30 a.m. You could just throw it in people's faces. It's like being vegan. You get to throw that in people's faces. Like when you're at a barbecue and everyone's eating hot dogs, you get to be the person who goes, does anyone even know what's actually in hot dogs? But anyway, I'm a sweaty mess, so I'm gonna jump in the shower. I have no idea why, but this bathroom periodically will smell like buffalo chicken. I don't know why. This happened like a week and a half ago. Someone came in and was like, were you like cooking buffalo chicken pizza in here? Like why is it? And I was like, what are you talking about? Came in, buffalo chicken pizza. Like someone was hiding it all over the place in the bathroom. I have no idea why. And right now, I just walked in, buffalo chicken. What's going on? I recently made the best purchase of my entire life, which is this jersey, because look at the back. Bull. Bill Murray from the Toon Squad? Have you seen Space Jam? This is the most underrated jersey in the entire world. I don't normally spend money, especially on clothes. But this I had to buy. I ordered it from China like a month ago. It takes like a month to ship from China. And I'm pretty sure like a four year old was making it with his bare hands in some factory. Really bad working conditions, but I had to have it. I think it was worth it though. And he did a great job. But anyway, today is Tuesday, so I have to make a video. Uh, actually, I don't have to make a video, but I think today is the first time in history, in the history of me doing YouTube videos that I am going to be ahead by a week because I already filmed the video that is going out today. It's a video I did with my family. Uh, we got this game from Hasbro that we played. It's kind of like the what'd you say videos that I do with Keith. So that's like a branded video. I had to do it in advance, but if you haven't seen it, go check it out on my main channel. But today, I think I'm gonna film a video for next week, so I'm just like ahead of schedule. This never happens. This is a fucking miracle right now. And I still, you know, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because I know something's gonna happen and I'm just not gonna film it because I'm a lazy bitch and it just, it's never happened before. So if it does happen, I'm gonna be super excited. I have no confidence in myself. Did you just hear that? Like I just told you that I'm gonna film this thing today to be ahead and then right afterwards I'm like, yeah, it'll probably not happen. I know myself too well. The last time I vlogged, I tried to make a smoothie but I had that kefir shit that literally smells and tastes like a spoiled asshole. So I had to get another milk substitute because I'm still off the milk. So that's when I discovered almond milk. I didn't like discover it, I knew it existed, but I've never had it before. And someone's like, oh, if, kefir, if you think kefir's gross, or kefir, I know people are going crazy in the comments with like the pronunciation, kefir, kefir, it's dog shit is what we should call it, okay? So I was recommended to have some almond milk and this stuff is delicious. And it's healthy. Dairy and lactose free, gluten free, soy free, carrot, carrot genan free. That sounds like a dinosaur, what is that? No saturated fat, cholesterol free, no artificial flavors or colors. Ah, it's great. So I got my almond milk, some strawberries, some blueberries, and bananas. Why do I feel like 90% of this channel is just me making smoothies? I don't know why. Recently on Twitter, this guy named uh, William, I'm gonna mess this up, William Ruhlbach, uh, he sent me, he tweeted me a picture of this like painting thing that he did and he mailed it to me. Look at this, okay? All right, looks dope. Right? But, when you take a closer look, it's, it's layered. Look, it's like layered with wood. And there's like, he painted each layer. Can you even see this? Look at that. Isn't that insane? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I really wish it wasn't a picture of me, because I feel like that's weird. And just kind of, it's just weird to have a picture of yourself hanging up in your living room or something. So I'm going to put this in my office. Hanging on the wall there because like at least that's less weird But I feel like if people walk in and the first thing you see is a picture of myself on the wall They're like, okay douchebag not that I'm you know Not that I'm not a douchebag, but not this much 
of a douchebag. This is this is incredible though. This is amazing. By the way, for those of you who are fans of the podcast that I do, other people's lives, right now we're in the middle of <clears throat> seasons. So we dropped the first season. I think there was like 17 episodes or something like that. And we wanted to take some time off so that we can have a bunch of episodes recorded and pick the best ones and then release another season of like maybe 13 or 15 episodes, something like that. Um, unsure about the exact date that we'll be back, but there are uh, some new things coming with that. And, you know, I probably should talk to Greg about this because I'm kind of just like revealing it now, but we are going to have like a YouTube channel where there's going to be little trailers and little, uh, you know, snippets of episodes of like funny parts or serious parts or whatever. Just some cool uh, fucking content or whatever. Maybe I'll throw it on this channel. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but we'll figure it out. But I'm really excited because we're doing video for other people's lives and we're doing video for Veterans Minimum, the sports podcast, which if anyone doesn't know, I do a sports podcast that comes out every single week. Um, and we're going to be doing video for that as well during the summer. Right now, I'm probably just going to sit down and write up a video that I could try to shoot today. So like I said, I could get ahead. Um, who knows how well this will go. If I actually shoot this video and edit it and get it done, I will be thrilled. You know, just one time, I wish these emails were real. I just got another one of these spam emails. You ever get one of those spam emails where it's like some, some prince in Persia who came across an inheritance of like $200 million and now he's emailing me and being like, hey, if you want it, all you have to do is reply and I'll give it to you. Can you imagine if that was real? It makes no sense though. Who gets $200 million and goes, you know what? I'm just gonna email random people. See who wants it. Imagine it was real though. Like, it's just this really lonely guy that he's just like, I want, I just, someone answered my email. I'll give you $200 million. Listen, if you're out there and you're watching this, I will gladly email you pen pal, whatever. I've had a pen pal before. In third grade, our teacher made us get pen pals. I had this pen pal. Was it this girl? I think her name was Chen Sun or something like that. It was. Chen Sun, yeah, that was her name. Actually, I don't know if that was her name. I might just be like mildly racist right now. I'm pretty sure it was something like that. Or maybe it was Sun Chen. But I had this pen pal that I would write like actual letters to and mail it to China. And we had to send pictures back and forth. It was kind of like Tinder, except there was no swiping. It was, it was, you know what it was? It was kind of like an arranged marriage without the marriage. It was just a, like a, an arranged friendship. Like I didn't get to pick. You know what I mean? Like she didn't send a couple letters back and forth and I was like, all right, Miss Pogerbin, this chick sucks. Like, give me a, give me a new one. Like I had to stick with her. She was cool though. Soon Chen, Chen Soon, whichever one it is. If you're watching this, you are awesome. Phenomenal handwriting, by the way. I totally forgot I had a pen pal until right now. I wonder if my mom definitely still has the letters I used to write to her. It was so weird. Like I, I feel like I was on a first date. Like I didn't know what to write. I was like, so how's the weather in China? Like what the fuck else do you ask? I totally forgot I'm going to the Logic concert tonight. He's at the Barclays Center and I know his managers. They're really cool guys from New York. And they were like, yo, do you want to come to the, to the show? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm not going to bring my camera because I'm not going to be that guy. Maybe I'll try to film something with my phone, probably not, but yeah. Oh, good morning. So the Logic concert was fucking sick. Drank a lot last night, so I ended up skipping the gym today, but it's arms day. Like I'm just doing arms today. So, I mean, I have dumbbells in my place, so I can just, you know, I'll get a good workout in. But anyway, my friend Frankie is coming over right now. I think he's bringing me a bagel. Look who I'm having breakfast with. A clean shaved Frank. I don't think anyone's gonna notice that you were the person from Whiskey Talks because you shaved your face. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I must have tricked someone. Because in the video, I saw like one person commented like, look at that bulge. <laughs> what? Little do they know. A lot of people were like, your friend's got a big dick. You don't want to get your hopes up, but uh... <laughs> Usually, Frankie and my buddy Nick do a wrestling podcast called The Squares. Mm-hmm. Squirch. So they usually do a podcast called the Squared Circle Jerks and they record it, but Frankie lived in Connecticut, so he can't be here, so he just calls in. So today, Nick doesn't know, but Frankie has moved back to New York. Uh, so we're gonna surprise him, and Nick's gonna go in there to record, he's gonna call Frankie, Frankie's gonna hide in my room, and then like, three minutes into the show, he's just gonna run downstairs and break into the fucking studio room and be like, I'm back, bitch. I really hope his reaction is worth don't make it. So Nick and Frankie are recording Squared Circle Jerks right now. I have 
chicken in the oven, so when it goes off, I'll use the word disaster. Just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, and then I'll chime back in when I'm ready, okay? So yeah, guys, this is a behind the scenes of what the show is like every week, a disaster. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Squared Circle Jerks podcast, coming at you from Santa Gala Studios in New York City. I'm one half of the jerks, Nick the Lamb, and joining me always is... See, it hurts that you say New York City because it accentuates the fact that I'm in New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> This is actually working out perfectly. Nick's in there recording. He has no idea. Frank, Frankie's in my closet on the floor. Deceiving you, which mic is on? Which one? The is it this one? one? Frank just walked in on me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your ears are not deceiving you. You are not hearing anything that you are not actually experiencing. I, I hope my face. I hope my face was caught on that. <laughs> you are hearing the factual one in studio in a story in New York, and dropping some big news. You will be getting the factual one in a story in New York from here on out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is right. August. What's today's date? August 9th. Marks the return of the factual one <laughs> to a story in New York. That's right. Baby. Here, live and in person. Woo! You're getting it. And I'm here to whoop Nick's ass in every single way that I can. Absolutely. This is this is super. I have to wear my, my brand new villain club shirt while I'm doing it too. I mean, this is this is the beginning of the demise of Nick. <laughs> you don't understand. I have waited so long. <laughs> I know you have. You I have know. waited so long, seven years. I have been away in Connecticut, and I've been plotting, and I've been waiting, and all I want to do is just every time I see you bash your face in. <laughs> I know, good. I was worried you were going to press pause. I've been wanting to bash your face in for so long. <laughs> Fuck, so long. But the only thing that stopped is that I only saw you on like a month-to-month -month basis, but now seeing you on a week-to-week -week basis, I'll want to hurt you. <laughs> see you. Um...